Hello. Um, just as I was walking outside, I dropped my tripod with my phone on it. Fortunately, my phone's okay, but my tripod is broken. So let me make sure. I think you can still see everything. Just propped it up. Um, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do slightly gentler, more, um, more beginner type of flow. I wouldn't say beginner. Just a more basic, kind of back to basics. So if you haven't done a lot of yoga before and you're interested to try it, I encourage you to do so. If you have, you can still get a great great workout um, or just spending some time kind of going back to the beginnings. So I posted at the top a link to my playlist if you want to join in. Uh, join in. It's just called Yoga Live. It's a shorter playlist. We're not going to do a full hour at all. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and get started. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start this. Sorry, I've got to move this again because I don't have my tripod. So I think that's a good option. All right. So we're going to start on our backs. It's my favorite way to start a yoga class. Just lying down, finding a little bit of stillness. And letting your body relax. Maybe grab your kids if they need to do some physical activity, although mine have already done theirs. They don't, they don't want to join me for yoga, or one is doing hers right now. But finding that comfortable space on your back and just start to deepen your breath. Just focusing on breathing a little bit longer as you inhale. <clears throat> Hold it at the top of your breath in for a moment or two. And exhale it out completely and then some. Press that stale air out and hold it at the bottom of your exhale. And we'll do that again. Deep breath in. Hold on to it at the top. Breathe it out. Press it a little bit further out. So now shifting into your ujjayi breath, in and out through your nose. Inhaling. Exhale through your nose. And do that again, breath in, filling up that entire torso. Gently constricting the back of your throat as you exhale through your nose. And again, breathing in. And breathing out. And sliding your feet to the mat, knees up to the ceiling here. So you can take your arms wherever you like. I like to make 90 degree angles with my arms. Inhale right here. On your next exhale, let your knees fall right. You can leave your feet right where they are. Drop your knees to the right. You can take your right ankle, stack it on the outside of your left knee. Add a little pressure here. Next inhale, bring your knees back to center. Uncross that right leg if you crossed, and exhale, let them fall left. Again, feet can stay planted, or take that left ankle, stack it on the outside of your right knee, maybe add that pressure. Next, inhale, knees back to center. So you can keep your feet on the mat here as you exhale. We're going to breathe in again. And exhale, just drop your knees side to side like windshield wipers. Inhale, bring those knees back to center. 
Exhale, drop your knees left. And if you want to pick your feet up, you can do the same thing with your feet off of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, knees fall right, almost touching, not quite. Breathe it in, back to center, and exhale it left. So just taking this movement, attaching it to your breath. Inhaling center, and exhaling to the side. Switching back and forth. Engaging your core, engaging those obliques. One more time each way. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Trying to keep that breath coming in and out through your nose. Good. Now come back to center. Bring your knees into your body. Just move however it feels good to move. You can rock side to side. Circle those knees around. I'm going to make your way up into a seated position. So you can sit with your legs crossed, or if you want to sit with your feet together, sitting on your heels, if that's more comfortable. Just a place where you can sit up straight. I'm going to face you here. As you inhale, lift those arms up. You can turn and look towards your hands, and exhale, tip over to the right side. Come into your hand or your elbow. We're going to keep moving here. Inhale, take that left arm, reach it up and open. Look back. Exhale, take your left hand and touch your right, rounding through your back. Do that again. Breathe in. Open it up. You can look up or behind you. Exhale, left hand touches the right. One more time. Open up, breathing in. Exhale, left hand to right. Now walk your hands to the center. Pause there. Elbows can bend. Your head can hang heavy. Or lift your chin up if that's too much tension on your neck. Good. Roll it back up to seated. Take a breath in. Reach those arms high. You can turn and look towards your hands. Exhale, tip over to the left side. Coming to your hand or your elbow, staying over. As you inhale, open that right arm up and back. Exhale, right hand to the left, round through your back. Good. Two more. Breathe in. Open up. Exhale, right hand to the left. One more time, open it up. Exhale, right hand to left. Walk those hands forward, pause in the middle. Elbows bend, head hangs. Good, and roll it up to seated. So again, a seated position where you can sit up straight. If your legs cross doesn't work for you, you take whatever you want or need. Just a place, again, where your spine can be long. And on your next inhale, hands can come to your legs, to your shins, or just next to your side. Press your chest forward, arch your back. It's a seated cow pose. Exhale, seated cat. Sit back into your hips. Straightening out your arms. Inhale, press it forward. Exhale, take it back. Do that three more times, breathing in. Exhale it back. Good, two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more, big breath in. Press your chest forward, arch your back. Exhale, sit back into your hips. So I want you to straighten out your legs into a pike position. Good, as you breathe in, sit up tall so that spine is long. Keeping that spine long as you exhale, just start to lean forward. You may not go very far at all, and that's completely fine. Hands can be on your legs or next to you. Spine stays long as you gently lean forward. Your head can drop in line, or if you wanna drop your chin down. Just taking deep, full breaths there, feeling that through your back, probably through the backs of your legs. Hamstrings all the way down to your calves. Good. As you breathe in, sit up tall again. You're going to cross your legs and come onto all fours. 
So make your way onto all fours, hands and knees. Wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Good, just moving through cow and cat in this position. As you breathe in, belly drops, looking up. Exhale, round into cat. Pressing into the tops of your feet. Inhale, I like to tuck my toes, belly drops, look up. Exhale for cat, rounding through your back. A few more times, breathe it in. Exhale it out. Good, two more, breathe in. Exhale round. One more time, inhale. Exhale round through your back. Good, come to a neutral spine here. Tuck your toes under as you inhale. We're gonna make our way to downward facing dog. So hands are already planted, feet are planted. You just lift your hips for that down dog, making an upside down V with your body. Move however it feels good to move. I like to alternate my heels down to the mat in this down dog, kind of walking it out. But as you breathe in, we're going to come back to all fours. Now you can come with your knees down or you can let your knees hover. Stay there as you exhale. Let your knees release if they were hovering. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Good. Inhale, neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your hips for down dog. Good. We'll do that again. One breath back to all fours or knees hover. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Good, next inhale, cow pose, belly drops. Exhale, cat. Neutral spine as you breathe in, tuck those toes under. Exhale, lift your hips high. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, back to all fours, or let your knees hover, stay right there as you exhale. Good, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good, neutral spine, breathing in. Tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your hips up. Good, from that down dog, look towards your hands as you inhale, take your feet there. You can walk it in, find a forward fold. Let your knees bend softly. Maybe you wanna hold your elbows and sway side to side, or just let those arms and head hang heavy. Next inhale here, put your hands on, come to a halfway lift. On your exhale, let your body relax, fold it deeper. Breathe in, rise all the way up to standing. Arms reach high, you can turn and look towards your hands. Exhale, those hands to heart. Good, breathe in, arms reach up. You can turn and look again. Now take your arms wide, dive it down, come through a flat back all the way to your forward fold. Inhale, press into your shins here, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We'll do that again. Rise all the way up. Breath in and reach. Hands to heart. Go ahead and reach your right back up. Inhale. Arms wide. Dive it down. Forward fold. Breathe in for a half lift. Just press into your shins. Exhale, fold. Good. One more time. Rise to standing. Reach it high. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. As you inhale, take your right hand, I'll face you here, slide it down your right leg. Reach your left arm up and over. Keep your left heel pressing down as you reach, feeling that good stretch through your side. Staying there for an extra breath or so. Exhale, everything comes back to center. We'll switch sides. Inhale, slide your left hand down your left leg. Reach your right arm up and over. Press your heels down. Good, exhale, come back to center. This time as you inhale, reach both arms up. You can turn and look toward those hands. Exhale, grab your left wrist, pull over to the right side. Same thing here, press both heels down as you pull, breathe it in. Now we're gonna circle. You can circle just that upper body or you can dip your whole torso all the way down and back up. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, we'll switch. 
pull over to the left, press your right heel down, breathe it in. Let it go, circle it around. Good, inhale, center, turn and look toward those hands. Exhale, take your arms wide, dive it down to your forward fold. We're gonna move on here, add on, breathe in for a half lift. I'm gonna modify here as you exhale, bend your knees enough to plant your hands. Step to plank or knees down plank. You can drop those knees to the mat. So your spine is long here. Take another breath in. And on your exhale, lower your body all the way down. Ant on me here. Belly to the mat. Nose to the mat. Good. Breathe in. Just press your upper body up as much as you can. Exhale. Take it right back down to that forward fold. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Press up. Elbows get as straight as you like. Exhale it down. One more. Press up. Breathe it in. Exhale it down. Good. You're going to again inhale, press it back to that modified plank or plank pose. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips for a down dog. Good. Breathe in, look towards your hands and take your feet there. Find a forward fold. Halfway lift, pressing into your shins or maybe this time reaching for the mat. Fold as you exhale. Rise up to standing, big reach, arms high. Take those hands to your heart. Good, keeping your hips square, we're gonna twist just your upper body. Inhale, reach your arms high. Take your left arm forward and your right arm back. You can turn and look to that right hand or wrap your left arm in front, right arm behind you. Breathe in, come back to center, reach high. Switch sides as you exhale. Turn and look or wrap those arms. Good, inhale, center, reach it up. Exhale, arms go wide, dive it down, forward fold. Breathe in for a half lift, lengthen, keep that length in your spine, plant your hands, step to that modified plank or plank if you'd like. Take a breath in here. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Now press your upper body up. Just one breath here. Breathe it in. Tuck those toes under. Lift your hips high. Back to that upside down V. Take an inhale. Look forward. Feet to hands. Forward fold. We'll pause there. Deep full breaths. Good. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale. Fold it deeper. Rise all the way up, big breath, reach high. This mosquito's taunting me. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, take your hands behind your back. If you can grab your palms, great. If not, just grab your elbows here. So you wanna open up through your chest as you inhale. Palms can pull together if you like. Exhale, find a forward fold, keeping that bind. Hands or elbows held. Sometimes in this position, it feels good just to move your head around. So maybe little figure eights with your neck. Good, next inhale, come to a half lift, pressing into your shins or reaching down. Exhale, find your modified plank or plank. Take a breath here. If you're in plank, shift forward. Exhale, you can lower halfway or all the way to your belly. Let your lower body relax. Press your upper body up, breathe it in. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up high. Good, now look towards your hands. You're gonna step your right foot forward. Your right foot comes between your hands and spin your back heel down. So that back foot's about a 45 degree angle. Look forward and reach your arms forward to stand up for warrior one. So it's okay if it takes several steps to get there. You're bent into your right knee, shoulders are square, hips are squaring, you're pressing through the outer blade of your back foot, almost like you're trying to lift the arch of your foot up off the ground. Good, stay right here as you breathe in. As you exhale, you're gonna open it all up to warrior two. Take your right arm forward, left arm back. Now your feet are perpendicular, so you open up that back foot, shoulders on top of your hips. Now we're just gonna do a little gentle wave here. Take both arms up, keep your elbows soft so you're not squeezing your shoulders to your ears. As you inhale, just wave to the left. 
Exhale, wave right. And again, breathe in to the left. Exhale to the right. One more time, take it left. Exhale to the right. Now take your right hand, or I'm sorry, your right forearm to your right leg. Your left arm can stay up. If you want to reach all the way to the ground, reach down with that right hand, left arm up. Big breath in. Exhale, take both hands down to a lunge. Lift your back heel and let your hips sink into that lunge. Good, look forward. You're gonna step your left foot to meet the right. Take a halfway lift. Pressing into your shins or reaching down. Fold as you exhale. Rise all the way up to standing, big reach. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Now take your feet together or just slightly apart. We're just gonna take three breaths in chair pose. So you sit your hips back like you're sitting in a chair, weight in your heels, chest is lifted. Breathe it in. Exhale it out. Two more breaths. Good, one more breath. Good, as you inhale, straighten your legs, arms reach high. Take those arms wide, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Now you can just put your hands down and step it straight to down dog, or you can do that step to plank. Modified plank, lower down. We all meet in downward facing dog. Hips are high. Good, looking towards your hand, step your left foot forward. Spin your back heel down, foot's about a 45 degree angle, look forward, reach forward and come up, warrior one, square it off. Next exhale, open everything to warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back. Keeping those elbows soft, arms up, as you breathe in, lean right. Exhale, wave your body to the left. Good, inhale right. Exhale left. Breathe it into the right. Exhale left, take that left forearm to your quad. Right arm up, or you can reach all the way down with your left hand. Good, exhale, both hands come down, lift your back heel, sink into a lunge. Good, look forward, you're gonna step forward. Your right foot meets the left for a forward fold. Breathe in for a half lift. Fold as you exhale. Come all the way to standing, reach high. Hands to heart center. Again, those feet are set up for chair pose. Sit your hips back, three breaths. Breathe it in. Weight is in your heels. You could lift your toes if you wanted. Exhale it out. Two more. Good, one more time. Next inhale, legs straighten, arms reach. Take those arms wide, dive it down through a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Now you'll make your way to down dog. You can just step it back. You can take that vinyasa where we do the plank, modified plank, chaturanga or belly to the mat, cobra with your legs down, or upward facing dog, and then hips high. Good, now from that down dog, as you breathe in, lift your right leg up. So feel how it feels here. You can keep your hips square, or you can open up your hips, you can bend your knee. Just whatever feels good. Move it around, circle it around. Good, take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna make some space. Step that foot through just like we did before. Spin your back heel down, reach forward, warrior one. Breathe it up. Exhale, open your body to warrior two. This time make your front leg straighten. Reach that right arm up, take your left hand to your left hip, and as you lean back, you just gently press that left hip forward. Good, 
Go ahead and release your arms. Keep your legs straight. Lean your body forward. Take your right hand, slide it down anywhere along your right leg or all the way to the ground, left arm up. This is Trigonasana, Triangle Pose. Good. As you exhale, take your left hand down. Lift your back heel and sink into a lunge. We're going to twist here. Right arm reaches up as you inhale. So you're in a twisted lunge. If you want to over-rotate that twist, open it up. Take your left shoulder closer to your right knee and breathe in. Open it up. Exhale. Both hands come down. You're going to stand up and face the wide side of your mat. So make a big X with your body. Turn your toes out. Breathe it in. As you exhale, just bend your knees. Pull those elbows towards your hips. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees. Keep your knees bent. Normally we would go to the back of the mat, but we're gonna come back to the front. Both knees bent, just pivot your body to the front so your snout's in a lunge squared off. Breathe in. Exhale, lean forward. We're gonna take one balancing pose, warrior three, your left leg lift. If you don't want to lift it up, just take that lunge and stay there. Or reach your body forward, stay there. Finding a little balance. Good. Your inhale is going to take you back to your lunge. Arms reach up. Exhale takes you to down dog. Hands to the mat. You can just step straight back to down dog or incorporate that vinyasa or modified vinyasa. Whatever your body needs. Now take your left leg high, square or open, move it around if you want, whatever feels good to you. Good, breathe it in here. Exhale, reach that left foot between your hands as you shift forward and spin your back heel down. Come up to warrior one. Exhale, open your body to warrior two. Now straighten your left leg. Right hand can come to your right hip. Left arm can reach up and back. Press your right hip forward as you lean. Good. Release those arms. Legs stay straight. Lean your body forward. Tilt, tip, slide that down into triangle pose. Left hand comes anywhere along your left leg. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands come down. Lift your back heel, sink your hips into a lunge. And we'll twist, left arm up. You can stay there or over rotate that twist if you like. Good. Exhale, hands down. We're going to stand up and face the wide side of the mat again. So windmill those arms up and open. You should be facing the opposite side. Turn your toes out. Exhale, bend your knees. Pull those elbows to your hips. Inhale, arms up, legs straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale, bend, keeping both knees bent. Pivot back to the front, so your left leg's in front. You're in a high crescent lunge. Take those arms, reach them up. Stay right here or lean forward. Or play with some balance, right leg high for warrior three. So warrior three, you're as square as possible. Those hips staying square. Foot flex, toes angled toward the ground. Good, we'll breathe in, come back to that lunge. Arms can reach up. Exhale, take your journey to down dog. Step straight to down dog or plank or modified plank. Chaturanga or belly down. Press it up. Take it back. 
Good. Coming down onto your knees here for child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Let your body relax or rest on or through your legs. Your head is down. your way back up to a seated position you're going to come with your legs in front of you so you're going to cross your right leg over your left your left leg can stay straight if that's better or you can bend your left leg in take an inhale sit up tall even reaching your arms up if that's comfortable as you exhale twist to the right so your left elbow is going to come outside of your right knee we're spending five breaths here breathe it in Exhale it out. Four more. Three. And two. One more breath. Good, now untwist your torso, take that right leg behind you. Several options here. So you can keep your legs both bent, your legs are in this Z shape, it's called deer pose. You can come forward right down the center, or you can twist to the left, so your torso would come toward that front knee. If you'd rather take this into full pigeon, extend that right leg behind you. We're gonna spend a little bit longer here, more like 10 breaths. So finding some stillness, Folding forward, twisting if you like, settle into that pose and breathe. Push yourself back up out of that position. Bring your back leg to the front. You can shake it out. And we're gonna switch sides. Cross that left leg over your right. Again, right leg can stay straight or you can bend it in. Sit up tall, even reaching up if you like. As you exhale, twist to the left. That right elbow outside of your left knee. Five breaths. Each inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Four more. Good, undo that twist. Take that top leg, your left leg behind you. Again, legs can be bent, coming straight forward. Or you can extend that left leg straight for pigeon, or you can add in a little twist, especially if you stayed in that first pose. We'll spend about 10 breaths here, finding some stillness, breathing into that pose.
bring yourself back up right take that back leg to the front coming back to that seated pike position that we started in inhale sit up tall this time you can instead of keeping your spine long just let your body round forward over your legs settle into that pose for a few breaths Inhale, sit back up. As you exhale, we're going to slowly roll onto our back. So it's almost like someone came and punched you just above the belly button, rounding through your spine. Come all the way down to the mat. Once you're there, breathe in, reach those arms long. Exhale, hug your knees in. Move however it feels good to move. Circle them around, rock side to side. And you can drop both knees to the right for a spinal twist or take it back to the beginning, planting your feet to letting your knees fall right. Either way. Knees back to center and we'll switch sides. Knee center and let your body relax finding some stillness finding Shavasana eyes can close or gaze can soften and just settle in let yourself be some movement back to your body. You're going to make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Breathing in together, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. With love and gratitude from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I greatly appreciate those of you who have donated so far. So I, that is um, much appreciated uh, by me and my kiddos. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I would be doing a, a yin yoga class tomorrow at 10. I'm going to have to bump that to 11 a.m. because I have a, um, a Zoom call that I have to attend at 10. So tomorrow morning is Thursday, 9 a.m. on Salt Yoga Tulsa Live. I'll be doing a flow class. Um, and then at 11 a.m. on my Facebook, I'll be doing a yin yoga. It's Y-I-N if you want to look it up. 
never get up off the mat, long held stretches. So I'd love for you to join me. You can always message me if you have questions. Um, if you know somebody who might be interested in yoga, you might let me know that you've had them friend request because I usually don't accept random people. So um, let me know if they're interested and I'll make sure that they get on here. So thank you all so much. Hope you have a great Wednesday.